Hello! I don't know how to tell where my camera's going. There's no red light on this side. It's only on the, the other side. I don't know why my camera does that. Today, I'm going to be telling you how to do some basic tank filter maintenance. I'm going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on both of my tanks. Uh, this isn't for hardcore maintenance. I'm not going to be opening up my impellers or anything like that. This is just sort of your, you know, your weekly stuff that you should do or um, you know, monthly in terms of changing some of the media. I haven't changed my tank media in either of my tanks for quite a while. Um, so definitely my Aqua One is due for some of the media to be switched. Um, with my Aqua One EcoStyle 37, I use cartridges for the filter. Um, today I'm going to be using this kind here. It's the Genuine Parts 104C, which pertains to the EcoStyle 37. Uh, they do have different sizes and things like that, or you could even DIY the filter with that one, but I think it's pretty easy just to go with the cartridges. With my other one, I'm not going to be replacing any of the media, although my carbon is due for a change. Um, today I'm just going to be squeezing out the sponges and doing some general cleaning of the uh, media. I'm not going to be doing anything really heavy duty there. Um, so hopefully uh, what I'm about to show you is helpful, um, especially if you have an Apple One or a Fluval Fleecy Glass, they'll probably be really useful to you. Um, yeah. So what you can see here is my light and my spray bar, which is uh, the cover of the filter on my tank. I haven't changed any of my filter media for quite a while now, so they're both pretty gross. I'm only going to change one. That way I keep most of my good bacteria. I'll show you now. Taking the spray bar off, and I'm just going to sit that in a bucket of water I've just taken from my tank. Inside here is the first cartridge. I don't know if you can see, but it's like pretty swollen and like green. Um, the sponge is pretty yucky. I'm going to pop that into my bucket of water. And this is the other one. So I think this one's the older one. See some of the uh, the fluff is actually starting to come off. That one's quite bad, so this is probably the one I'm going to throw out. This is my new ones. Um, so I'm using Aqua One Genuine Parts 104C, which goes with my Aqua One Eco Style 37. See that one's quite new and clean and I'm just gonna like rinse this in the bucket of water quickly so it's wet and then I'm gonna put it in this end of the filter so this is where the water comes into the filter and this is where it comes out just gonna clean the sponge of the dirty one just to get any debris out. And then I'm going to put it back in there. So I'm going to try and leave this one in here for a little bit longer until I get a new one. But if I put this one at this end of the filter, the good bacteria should be able to spread from this end to this end. So those are both sat in. This is pretty slimy, but I'm going to clean it later. For now, I'm just going to pop that back on. And there we go. I have changed some of my filter media. So hopefully, my water quality will be a little bit better now, uh, especially um, because there will be fresh carbon in that one. And that does my chemical filtration. Sorry about the noise my filter makes when there's not a full tank. I've taken some of the water out to show you. Um, but this is my filter media for my blue ball flexi glass. Um, you can see I've got noodles in there and I've got carbon in here and then the rest is all just sponge. This is 
basically all of my filter media that I have in my sort of mini sump in there. Um, but you can see these bits here where the grill is get quite gross and dirty. So I'm gonna pull these out. And give my sponge a good squeeze so that I can get all the debris out. I have a um, sand base. So my filter media and my impeller actually get pretty muddy. And you can see the water has basically just turned really dark from the mud that I've squeezed out of this. So it doesn't look that dirty when you look at it, but when you squeeze it, you can see it's really quite gross. It's got a whole the lot in there. Find my other Put my noodles back there. Try not to clean the noodles too much because they're primarily a space for bacteria to live. Don't really want to clean that at all. I want the bacteria to stay living in its home in the noodles. The carbon, I should probably replace that fairly soon because I've had this carbon in it since I got it and that was like six months ago or so. That's probably not even active anymore. But got it in there anyway. Move the little holder. And then looks a lot better. I'm gonna pop that back in. So that was me doing just a little bit of easy tank maintenance. What am I even saying? Tank maintenance and yeah, I completely mind blanked just then. Um, easy maintenance that you should do pretty regularly. Um, it's easy to do them at the same time as you do your water changes. I'll make another video about how to do some more heavy duty tank filter maintenance. I'll show you how to open up the impeller and the power heat unit and get those clean another time. Thanks guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye. This is Friday's favorite spot. He likes to sit in his crocodile skull.